Um, so yeah, hi, uh, my name is Ronan, um, and yeah, I was born in Sydney and I've lived here all my life, so I live up on the North Shore above the bridge, so um, I kind of stayed contained up there for quite a while until kind of last year, this year. So I, um, yeah, went to school up in the North Shore and stuff, and I started the piano as my first sort of like introduction into music um, because my sister older than me she was learning piano she had all the beginners books and stuff and um, I wanted to play the piano as well so I took the beginners book because in like very very beginners like this is your finger one this is two like absolute basics and I wanted to teach myself that so I did and developed many bad habits that were very detrimental <laughs> so I had to spend um, a few years with like a very strict teacher to help get them like back to standard and stuff so um, I started taking music more seriously last year when I had more time um, so like last year I had done my first exams and stuff I also played the trumpet as well so I had done my first exam for piano and trumpet and I started uh, doing composition more seriously. At the school I was at, I was at um, St. Pius in Chatswood, um, and I was lucky enough to have the concert band sort of conductor there, <coughs> Stella Talati. She was very good at everything. <laughs> so she was able to compose and stuff, and she said that she would do lessons with me, so that was very fortunate. And so that kind of became my major focus. Um, and last year I auditioned for the Conservatorium High School to see if I could finish my last two years of um, high school there. So they accepted me. So I've been there since this year and it's been quite overwhelming, <laughs> but it's very good. It's very, yeah, it's a good experience. So um, yeah, that's my musical history. Um, so my work, uh, I was thinking about how to, like, a <coughs> concept, because I think very really conceptually rather than, like, a storyline or anything, so I was thinking about what a fanfare is, like, what characterises a fanfare, and um, I kind of came down to the ideas of things like... Um, there's very strong prominence of, like, fifths and fourths as just intervals and melodies and harmonies and stuff and also just brass is your typical fanfare always very brass dominated um, so I wanted to open it with a trumpet call because fanfares are meant to get attention I suppose so a nice big high trumpet call very loud to get attention and I used a limited interval set just a fifths and fourths just because that's got a fanfare sound so that, yeah, that's my opening sort of call, and I answered it with, um, I was thinking of like a bell call, just like at the opera house as well, that's a, <coughs> my third, so I wanted to answer the call with that underneath, and with actual accompaniment from orchestra and whatever, so that's why it's called Fanfare for the Hidden Call. Um, so yeah, and I derived like my harmony for the first three chords, through fifths and fourths, so like taking each note, and if you go down a fourth with that and up a fifth with that, and you get like a sort of a little bit of a more thick, thicker chord, a little bit more dissonant. So that's what I wanted to do, kind of create dissonance, build it up, and then just resolve back to nice big open fifths all through at the end. And yeah, at the end I also did like um, a little bit of a cross rhythm at the top with the woodwinds up the top. So I beamed them so that they were in groups of three. I didn't actually use accents. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I have to say about it, so I will play it now. I, um, I just played the short score on the piano, so I don't actually have a full recording or anything. Thus proving your low tech. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's not every single note's there, but I tried my best. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, and at the end I wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise because it's a fanfare calling, something's coming up next, so I didn't want to resolve it totally. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, I um, didn't have like a primary influence, like I didn't listen to a piece and say that I really liked that, but I just listened to quite a few um, fanfares. The teacher that I have for composition this year now, he gave me a few, so like normal, typical uh, staple fanfares like Fanfare for the Common Man. Um, and he also gave me uh, Strauss, the, I'm not German, also, also Sprach, oh, Sarah also Sprach, Sprach, Sarah yeah, 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 that one, which isn't a fanfare, but it's very fanfare-like. Um, and he also gave me a very modern Leroy Anderson um, fanfare, which was a bit wild. Um, <laughs> But I think as like primarily a uh, primary musical interest, like pieces that I really like listening to, it's a lot of all my favorite sort of pieces are all 20th century, um, particularly Russians. Um, so I'm listening to a lot of like Shostakovich and Prokofiev. Um, I think, yeah, like one of my favorite <coughs> pieces is uh, a Prokofiev piano concerto, the second one the third movement. Um, it's something that always never fails to make me laugh because it's quite grotesque <laughs> and it just sounds a bit wrong sometimes but it always makes me laugh which is quite good <laughs> but um, I guess I can play a little bit of that. <laughs> it's on my phone but I guess because I'm a piano player it's like um, I can sort of relate to how difficult it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. 